welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit more just like relax, like, you know, just sit down. I'm in my sweatshirt sitting on my bed <laughs> and just kind of talk to you guys. So for today's video, as you can see from the title, I am just going to be doing 20 random, or actually it's 25 bonus five <laughs> I'm gonna be doing 25 random facts about me these are probably facts nobody actually cares to know but here you are watching my video so obviously you cared a little bit if you clicked on this video so so let's just get right on into it fact number one I am a Capricorn my birthday is January 15th. It's not that exciting, but if you wanted to know my birthday, to you know, know when to celebrate the day I was born, now you know. Fact number two I, this is really random, but I love potatoes. I will never not want potatoes. Like if I'm hungry, I'll eat potatoes. Potatoes are great. Like if I am out somewhere and the waiter person comes and it's like, oh, are you guys ready to order? And everybody's ready and not me. If there's a baked potato on the menu, that's my safe bet. I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna go with that because now I'm stressed and don't know what to get. And so I guess I'm getting a big potato because everybody else is ordering. So three, I have six siblings. Fact number five, uh, I have never had braces. A lot of people think I have. Um, but I have not. Fact number six, I was homeschooled. Again, I feel like a lot of people do know that, like that know me, but um, if you didn't know, now you do. And since I did like other activities and things, I still got to like meet people, you know, like I still like had friends, I was still social, you know, but okay, I was not very social. I was very odd as a kid. I was very awkward. Not much has changed, but that's okay. <laughs> fact number, ooh, fact number seven. I grew up in a dance studio. Fact number eight. Oh, I was signed with an agency when I was 15 years old. Cool fun fact. Fact number nine, I graduated high school when I was 16 years old. Fact number 10, I moved to LA when I was 17 years old. That was a pretty, scary time i don't know actually though it's weird people are always like oh my god like how did you do that when you were 17 years old and i don't know at the time it didn't phase me like i didn't even think about it for the most part i was pretty much just like this agency wants to sign me i need to get moved out okay let me quickly do everything i can to graduate high school and move there and so i saved up money and that's what i did and i didn't really think about the actually like moving out here by myself not knowing anybody kind of thing I don't know. So it just happened. I wasn't really that scared. I don't, I don't really know. Fact number 11. Uh, I bur booked. <laughs> I booked my first like big dance job when I was 18 years old. That was a fun time. It was cool. I danced on the Kids Choice Awards. That was a cool time. Fact number 12. I have been dancing since I was four years old. Fact number 13. When I was Oh, when I was younger, I wanted to be an architect. Not a lot of people know that about me, but yeah, I really wanted to be an architect. Uh, fact number 14, my favorite color is yellow. I love yellow. I have loved it ever since I was a kid. My favorite color has never changed. I don't see it ever changing. I don't know, it's just such like a happy color and to me it's so pretty. I love it. I don't really ever wear it because I'm so pale that I feel like, I mean, wear what you want. If you're pale and wanna wear yellow, we're yellow, do it. But for me, I just felt like it made me like a little more pale. So I was just like, no thanks. But I love the color. Okay, fact number 15. I am terrified. I'm terrified of driving. I don't know why. I mean, I like, I do. Like it's other people driving that stresses me out. And I also am like terrified that like, while I'm driving, I'll have a split moment of not remembering that I'm driving and just like forgetting I'm driving and then like something happening. I don't know. I think about the most odd scenarios. I mean, I guess it could happen, but I don't know. But no, literally I, every single time I'm in a car and I'm not even exaggerating by saying every single time, I literally mean every single time I am in a car, no matter who's driving, 
I play out a scenario in my head of something happening and me getting in a car accident. I don't know why. It's not like I've ever been in any serious car accidents or something. Like I don't feel like I have a reason to be this way, but it's something that's always scared me. I don't know why. Fact number 16, I am claustrophobic. Very, very, very claustrophobic. I can't, <sighs> going in elevators by myself, terrifying, terrifying. And then when there's like a lot of people in the elevator, I'm like, no, like literally, no. So I don't, <laughs> I'm literally like, I don't wanna be by myself. But then if there's other people, I'm like, get me out of here. Like I'm, <sighs> I get stressed thinking about it. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Not for me. Um, fact number 17, I have four scars, at least that I know of, like there might be other ones. I don't know. Um, I have one on my wrist. You really can't see it. It's like been fading, but there's one on my wrist that I got from me scratching myself with my thumb. I was dancing and I like did something. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but my nail like took out a big chunk of my skin. And so I have a scar there and I've had that for a long time. I have two on my face. I have one right here that you can't see. I have makeup on right now. Um, that one I got when I was really little. I actually like remember this happening. Uh, I remember like running down the hallway and I think I went into my parents' room and I like tripped and I smacked my forehead on their bed frame. Um, and then one on my forehead, I got that one when I, what was I doing? Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, so this is actually a funny story. <laughs> so this one I got because my little sister and I were being weirdos and we took sleeping bags and put them over our heads and we were running around our bedroom. This was late at night too. And my mom and my older sister were out of town, so it was just my dad. And my sister and I <laughs> put sleeping bags on our heads and we were running around <laughs> our room. I think we were playing tag. I think that's what we were doing. We were playing tag with sleeping bags on our heads. And so we could see like, you know, like right around our feet and we were like, I'm gonna get you. And so we were like running around trying to find each other. And I tripped and fell and I smacked my head on my dresser because my dresser had like, it was like pull out drawers obviously, but on the bottom they like swung open. And so one of the doors was open. And so I hit my head on the corner of it. And then, this is actually something that I'm pretty sure only my little sister and I know. I think I've told Addison like the real story, but literally my entire family thinks it's because I rolled out of bed because that's what I told them. I just realized I wrote down the same fact twice. Um, so I'm gonna skip that and then try and come up with something at the end. So fact number, I guess 18, I am a night owl. Like, it's literally, I mean, it's only 11 o'clock and I'm filming this now, but like, if I had to work or do anything, like most of the time, like when I babysit, like I'll babysit until like two o'clock in the morning or whatever and like come home and I'll still like do my skincare routine, you know, like whatever, be like, like, I don't know. I love the nighttime. I love the nighttime. But if I have to get up early in the morning, it's like, I'm literally a zombie. It's oof. Um, fact number 19. <laughs> this is something that like, I guess I didn't know at the time, but then like later on people told me. But apparently people like while I was growing up used to think I, I don't know if that they thought I was mean, but they were like very intimidated by me. And so like, I really didn't have that many friends. I think I, to, for the most part that I like actually like they like actually willingly hung out with me um <laughs> and I I always thought it was because I was weird which I mean that was definitely a thing but I thought it was funny <laughs> that's okay that's fine but then like when I would become friends with these people then they'd end up telling me oh my gosh you're actually like a nice person I was so scared of you before and I was like Okay, <laughs> but I got that so much. It uh, honestly kind of hurt my feelings. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Why do I look scary? Um, fact number 20, I don't know anymore. Um, I hate public speaking. Like, I hate it, I'm, oh. Mm, it's not even that I hate it, it's not like a, oh, I don't want to do that. It's like a, 
please don't make me. Like, I'm so scared. Which, I mean, I dance on stage in front of thousands of people, but then, like, if I have to talk, if words have to come out of my mouth, I'm, like, so scared. I, I don't know. Yeah, I can't do it. Oh, my God. Fact number... I think that was 20, now we're on 21. I... <laughs> So we were just talking about something that I hate. So I'm like, oh, let me say something that I love. I love shopping. I know this is like, what? But I'm only saying this because it's like, I could do it for literally hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Like I could do it forever. Even if I only bought like four items. It's not that I'm like, yay, I love spending money. Cause I actually really, really love saving money. Like. I really love saving money, like spending money actually like stresses me out a little bit, but I could shop for hours. Just like looking at clothes, like literally the other day I had to buy a couple items and I spent seven hours shopping online and bought four items. I'm not even exaggerating. Fact number 22, I love drawing. I love it. I have to have a reference photo though. Like I can't, I'm not one of those people that can like come up with things and then like freehand, I have to like go base off of something. But like if I have something to go off of, I love drawing. I feel like I'm pretty decent at it, so. Um, fact number 23, I am five nine and, is it three quarters? Yeah, I think I'm five nine and three quarters. Yeah, I'm kind of tall. So there's that. Fact number 24. I, speaking of me being tall, I hated my height for so long. Like, for so freaking long. And I know that's like something that I feel like, wow, I keep touching my hair and I need to stop. I feel like that's something that a lot of tall people, especially like females, um, deal with is just like being very insecure about their height. But I like, really, really didn't like it. Like for a long time, even when I was around my friends that were shorter than me, I was constantly in my head, like thinking like, oh my God, do these people think I look really freakishly tall? Do these people think I'm weird? Like I stressed way too much as a kid. Like, whew, that's a lot. But I, yeah, I d always hated it. I felt like I could never date somebody shorter than me. And I'm only bringing this up because my boyfriend is a little bit shorter than me now. Um, but for a long time, I felt like I, like I was like, oh my God, I couldn't picture myself with somebody shorter than me, but not because I was like, oh, that's weird. Like I see nothing wrong with that at all. But it was because I was insecure about how tall I was. And so I was like, that just made me more insecure. But then I met Addison and then it was like, he makes me feel so good about myself. And now I like, I don't even like question it literally at all at all and I love how tall I am and I'm like way more content with it and like happy with who I am and yeah so he's pretty great um and then fact number 25 that I have to come up with um This is random. I can hum and whistle at the same time, or at least I think I can. I like to think I can. Now I gotta remember how to do it. I haven't done it in a while. Um. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> that probably was not that interesting, but that was the only thing I could think of off the top of my head. So. Yeah, so that is all of my 25 facts about myself. Sorry if this video was like annoyingly long and like you really didn't care. Um, but you watched anyway, so I appreciate that. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a lot of new, better content coming for you guys. I already have like a ton of ideas. I have some stuff actually already pre-filmed that I will be posting and uploading, there'll be more exciting things, more like informative on topics other than myself. <laughs> um, so if you guys would like to see those videos, please subscribe. I know it's such a YouTuber-y thing to say, but you know, like this video, subscribe. Please leave comments down below on like suggestions that you have on videos that you would personally like to see. 
Um, that would be very, very helpful. So I just have ideas constantly coming and stuff to do. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I've said that like three times. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.